going to be showing you guys my makeup collection and I usually love watching these videos. I think it's really fun and interesting to see what other people have in their collections. And just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or anything. This is just a video I want to put up because a lot of other people do it too and I just think it's a fun thing to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my video and let's get right to it. Hi everyone, so this is my makeup vanity area and this table was actually given to me from my mom. So it is pretty old but it's still really sturdy and spacious so I have a lot of room to put my makeup. Down these drawers I actually have hair products and stuff like that and more over there. So before I get started I kind of want to explain the exterior like the lighting and I actually got these little um, flower lights or whatever you want to call them from Ikea. And I just thought they were really pretty and that they would jazz up my makeup vanity. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to start from the left to the right side of my vanity. Now on the left side, I kind of have like a little section just for my everyday um, products. So on the top, I have all my lotions, my deodorants, haha. Um, I have all my setting sprays, I have my toners and pretty much all my skincare products. And over here I just have a couple face products that I use um, every day, well as of now, and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear as well as the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, but I kind of put it into this container because it has a pump. Now for my container, I got all of these at Walmart, and I just got um, stickers from Target to kind of jazz them up because they look so plain. Now for the first drawer, I have all of my concealers, my primers, and um, eye brighteners, and powders, and such. So I have various um, different brands like MAC, L'Oreal, Benefit, I have some this YSL product, um, NYX in the back, so that's that. The second drawer, I have all my face products, so I have a lot of Milani baked blushes, my Too Faced bronzer, um, my Revlon bronzer right here, and some eyebrow products. This is from e.l.f. and I actually really like it. Um, as you can see, I hit pan already. I also have some Benefit um, cheek tints over here. So that's what's natural. In the last drawer, I have all my eye products. So I have a lot of bases and um, eyeliners and mascaras and gel liners and all of that in this little section. And it is really full, so um, it can be kind of difficult to close. And next to that, I have some palettes in this area. I have my Naked 1 palette and also my Naked 2 palette. Um, I have this 5 compartment um, Inglot palette. And that's what it looks like. Um, most of them are like neutral colors. And over here I just have um, 3 MAC palettes. Um, this one, I have all my cream blushes. I also have that one side, and the other side I have my powder blushes. And the second one, I have um, all of my oranges and my purples, and those are mainly eyeshadows. And also in my third compartment, I have all my natural eyeshadows, and um, half of it is matte, the other half is shimmer. Now, next to that, I have my brush holder area. And I have this piece of paper that covers it to keep any, like, dust or anything from falling onto my brushes. So, um, I got all of these containers at Ikea, and I got the rocks there, too. But in, um, this brush holder, I have all my eye brushes, my face brushes, and my foundation brushes. And these are all clean. I keep the dirty ones in this one, and that's how I separate them so they don't both get dirty. And over here I just have two gum containers that I keep q-tips and bobby pins in. And over here I just have some brushes that are currently drying. And next to that I have a mirror and I got this mirror from Conair from Target by the brand Conair. And it actually opens up into three mirrors. And this is like the regular side and the other side is more magnified so that's what it looks like. And it actually has um, light settings, which is really cool. So you can turn it on and have has different light settings. And I mainly use this in the morning because I get up super early for school. And next to that, I have a smaller mirror in case I need it um, when I'm doing my eye makeup and stuff like that. And next to that, I have all my palettes. 
And over here I just have my e.l.f. 100 eyeshadow palettes. And I just have my Metal Mania palette over here from Chris Coastal Scents. And my 88 Warm palette over here. I have my Ofra Pro palette. And some of you might not be familiar with this brand, but I bought it online. Because it was really cheap and I just depotted a lot of my Wet n Wild eyeshadows over here too. And I really like it because it's clear so you can kind of pick whatever shadows you want and kind of plan out your eye look. And under that I have this MAC palette but I keep mostly my Coastal Scents eyeshadows so I have a lot of greens in this one. And the next one I have is another MAC palette that I keep um, Coastal Scents eyeshadows in this too. And I just have a lot of blues and browns and blacks. And the last palette over here is actually a Lauric palette, and I really like it because the colors are beautiful, and you can use a lot of these colors for everyday looks. And in the front of that, I just have a couple products that I recently purchased. This is the um, Perfume Roller by Marc Jacobs in the scent Honey, and this is the Josie Moran Oil, and it's a... Um, I believe a moisturizer, moisturizing oil for your skin. And I also got two MAC products. This is the lip color in Ruby Woo, which a lot of you might be familiar with. And this is another Pro Longwear concealer because I'm starting to run out of my other one. And next to that, I have my hair strainer, and this is from Remington. And I absolutely love this hair strainer. I've had it forever, and it works amazing. And um, this stand is just from Hot Iron Experts, but I got that a long time ago. So now we're moving on to my bigger makeup collection. On the very top, I have a lot of hair products. Um, I have eye makeup remover, I have hairsprays, I have alcohol for cleaning purposes, stuff like that. And I have a clip just to clip up my hair in case I'm doing my hair. And over here, I just have this like sticker decorated drawer. And I got all these stickers again from Target, and I got these letter stickers from Walmart. And I kind of labeled each drawer according to the products that I have in there. So I have uh, all my face products mainly in this drawer. And so this is what it looks like. Um, on the very left hand side, I have mainly all of my foundations that I don't use as often. And over here I have all of my powders. And I have like a range of powders from Maybelline, from Cargo, Physician's Formula, and I have all my concealers over here. So that's that. If you want me to go more in depth um, within the products, just request like what you want to know about certain products, and I'll be happy to do a video for you guys. And here I have all my eye products. So I have all of my mascaras in the front and I have cream shadows over here and single shadow in the back. And so, I, again, I have a range of bands from Maybelline, L'Oreal. And I also have some MAC singles over here and L'Oreal hip singles. And in the back, I have um, six paint pots. And these are like mainly neutral colors. So I have Bare Study, Rubenesque, Indian Wood, and those colors. And in the back over here, I have more single shadows and quads, and I have my e.l.f. mineral shadows underneath that. And in this section, I have all my um, eye pencils, so I have all my crayons right here, and I have my liquid um, eye pencils over here and stuff like that. And these are just some gel liners. And the next drawer, I have a lot of cheek products, so... I have a lot of powders over here. I have a lot of big blushes from Milani and these are from MAC. And this is a Physician Formula blush and two cream blushes right here from L'Oreal. And over here I just have some more blushes. These are from Milani, um, NARS, ELF. And over here I have a lot of baked ELF blushes and eyeshadows. And these are pigments that I have from NYX and MAC. And I also have some more paint pots over here. And underneath all these pigments, I have the liquid blushes from e.l.f. And to the left of that, I have more powder blushes from Wet n Wild, Milani. Um, I have these from Revlon. And 
Near the back, I have more powder blushes and cream blushes. This is my all-time favorite cream blush. It's from Revlon, and I don't know if it's discontinued or not, but it is great, and it gives you the most natural rosy glow, which is actually the name of it. So that's my cheek drawer, and for my lips drawer, it is super disorganized, but um, I'm planning on getting um, lip containers to kind of organize everything. So I have my Michelle Fawn lip palette over here that my friend Julie got for me. So that's that. And it's really cool because you can actually mix um, different colors to create your own lip color. And I have all my Wet n Wild lipsticks over here. I'm absolutely in love with their lipsticks. These are super pigmented. And in the back, I just have a variety of lipsticks from drugstore to high-end. And a lot of them are from Revlon and Rimmel and L'Oreal. And over here, I have a lot of glosses and stains, so that's that. And I just have a couple EOS lip balms. It's really disorganized, so I don't like to go into that section too much. And the next drawer, I have all like miscellaneous products. And all these, um, I forgot to tell you, all of these compartment drawers I got from Walmart. And they're really cheap, so um, you, can, you guys should definitely go check them out. Over here, I have some cream products, cream eyeshadows. And I have all my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils right here. And these are really great for bases when you're um, creating like certain looks. And next to that, I have a NYC bronzer, which is not, so I really like this one. And I just have another bronzer underneath that. On the left-hand side, I have a lot of primers from different brands. This is a monosat cream, I think, but it works great as a primer. And over here, I have some miscellaneous things. I have gel liners from Physician's Formula. I have some Milani baked powders, um, some more bronzers and stuff like that over here. And I have my Hula bronzer in this section and some cream blushes over here. And my NARS blush over here. And over here, I have a bunch of MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. And I absolutely love MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes because they're so pretty. And they just look beautiful on the skin. Um, and I just have a, another bronzer right here. This is from Too Faced. And it's the lighter version of the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And in the last drawer, I just have a bunch of random like items. But... A lot of these random items are mainly eyeshadow palettes. So I have a lot of drugstore quads over here, like from Maybelline and L'Oreal. A lot of these are like Maybelline quads. And I also have my nude um, NYX palette right here. This is what it looks like. And I have some Wet n Wild palettes over here. And Too Faced Natural Eye Palette over here. And the Night one as well. And in the back, I just have some... Um, elf palette so that's what's in the back and next to that I just have my hand sanitizer and some magazines and another elf palette that's the 151 I believe so that's what I have for the bigger section of my um, makeup collection and over here I just have a bunch of con swaps to remove my makeup and this drawer is a tough drawer to get out, but I have all of my foundations in this drawer. Like, I'm not going to pull the whole thing out because it's just too much of a hassle, but I have a lot of Revlon color today. I have a lot of drugstore foundations in this one. So that's that. And over here, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous um, hair bands and body pins and stuff like that. I don't really open that drawer too often. So that's what I have in this section. I'm going to move on to my drawers and what I have in those areas. So the top drawer, I have mainly a lot of my um, hair care products and my hair tools. So um, in this area, I have a lot of lip products because um, I just find that if I put it up on the desk, it's going to take up too much space. So I have a lot of my um, lip products that I prefer to use in this area. And underneath that, I just have... Um, some lip stains and lip glosses and stuff like that. And I actually got these drawers from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I don't know if they still have them available there. I have a lot of curling irons over here, some 
And my blow dryer right here, and I also have this little um, box which contains a lot of hair ties and bobby pins. And in this um, little pouch I have all my tweezers and stuff like that. So that's the first drawer. In the second drawer I have a lot of random things. I have um, a lot of face masks, um, some makeup removing wipes, I have a lot of eye makeup remover, toners, some waxing strips, all that random junk in this drawer. And in the last drawer, I just have a bunch of makeup bags and, yeah, nothing special really. And some extra brushes in these makeup bags. And now moving on to this drawer right here. I have this clipboard that I did a DIY on from Secret Life of My Nerd. And this is actually my brush cleaner that I use to clean my brushes. Oops. And... Out, fill out my makeup sponge but over here I have a lot of backups so I have a lot of eyelashes on this side and um, I have this little glove from Sigma I have a lot of backups from benefits just some eyeliners and concealers and all those things over here some an extra blush and more beauty blenders and under that I have this drawer where I keep a bunch of towels to clean my makeup and yeah, I just have some more cotton swabs underneath. And on the bottom drawer, I have all of my hair care products that I don't, I, that I don't use as often. Um, I have some Moroccan oil and some Chi products over here. I have some like Aussie, like three minute miracle, like a bunch of those hair care products that I use as backups. And so that is about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.